Thanks for joining us for SNAP News, the online broadcast of ColumbusLocalNews.com, where we keep you up to date on local sports and events. I'm Kalila Perrin, and here's what's happening. Take a healthy dose of Horton Hears a Who and stir in classic elements from the works of Dr. Seuss and you have Seussical. Starting March the 12th through March 15th, Powell United Methodist Church will present Seussical, its 20th anniversary spring play. It features colorful sets, a cast of 45, and a live band. The show begins at 7 p.m. on Thursday, 7.30 on Friday and Saturday, and 2.30 p.m. on Sunday. The church is located at 825 East Olentangy Street, and tickets are $10. They can be obtained by calling the church. Welcome to Snap Sports. He's Brian Inglis. I'm Seth Shaner. First topic on the agenda today will be a district semifinal in Division Three between or district final, I'm sorry, between Hartley and Bloom Carroll. That's tonight at 6 p.m. Bishop Hartley led by Ben Seaford, over 20 points a game. He's their point guard, he's their do-everything guy, and he'll kind of have to lead the team of a bunch of guys uh, Coach Randy Quarterkracks refers to as football players, basketball players, baseball players trying to play basketball. They're not necessarily just basketball players. Bloom Carroll incidentally beat Bishop Reedy last week, so that ended a chance for a rematch between the two Central Catholic League schools. And Brian, number five, Grandview is on tap for 9 o'clock, a uh, district final after the Hartley game. Uh, they kind of a, a little bit of upstart, upsetting Madison Plains earlier in the tournament. Well, for Grandview, you have to think about this fact. They've had a very successful program over the years, and this Bobcat team has the most wins in school history. They have a longtime venerable coach in Ray Corbett who has seen everything there is to see in Central Ohio, and I think that bodes well in their f favor in this contest. An interesting thing about this as we go through the tournament, the, the, the Coliseum, the Ohio Expo Center Coliseum, hosting games since way back when Fred Taylor, former Ohio State coach and player, played his Ohio State games there in the pre-1950s days. It's just kind of a cool you know, blast from the past to go into the Coliseum and check it out. Uh, you have memories from growing up and going to the Coliseum? Oh, absolutely. That always signaled the start of March, frankly. And a lot of people will take that as something to do in terms of social activity take their kids to the games, they go all day. And uh, yeah, a lot of people have a lot of memories. John Wooden played there as well when he played for Purdue. Yeah, I remember in 1997, the place was packed. I came up for Zanesville versus Independence. Uh, you know, all those good players for, for Independence and uh, Zanesville eked out the win. So it, it, it's not quite the packed house it used to be, but it's still a fun night at the Coliseum if you want to go check out some of this high school basketball. We'll close today's broadcast with footage from Upper Arlington. In it, students from Wycliffe Progressive School in Upper Arlington hop for charity and for health as a part of Jump Rope for as a part of a Jump Rope for Heart event held March 4th at the school. That's all we have time for for now, but thanks again for joining us and log on tomorrow as we highlight what's ahead this weekend in your neighborhood.